it's cookie season. And as you can see with the arrow here, this is where you do your cookie pickup. You simply go follow the arrows, and as you can see there, cookie pickup sends you directly back so you can pick up your cookies. Now, cookie season simply meaning, if we float back around, not to turn you too quickly, the sign there, Girl Scouts Hornet's Nest Council here on Attawau Road here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any cookies to sell, and I'm not gonna be going over cookies, but, or nor the Girl Scouts, but I'm gonna be going over this jewel, which is the 2021 Volvo XC90 Momentum. Now, this is a Momentum, which happens to be the crystal white exterior with the maroon brown interior. I'm gonna go over something rather simple today because Volvo has always been known to keep you safe. So much so to where now they say no serious injuries, no fatalities. But they've taken that over and beyond because now they have what is called connected safety, which helps you to communicate with other Volvos along the road when you get in hazardous situations. Normal. I always love to show you the dash of the vehicle that I'm going to be driving. I never just like to drive off without first introducing you to the vehicle. 2021 Volvo XC90. First things first, in order for it to keep you safe and to communicate with other cars in your area, you must have it enabled or engaged. In order to do so, first thing is, something that's not even connected to that, I, that I haven't mentioned before, you want to go to settings, you want to go to communications, modem internet, and Check the box. You want to enable your modem internet. That's all you have to do. So whether you're connected with AT&T for internet service whatsoever, that's not important. You just want to make sure your modem internet is enabled. You can go ahead and close that out. Swipe from left to right. In the center of the screen here, now the screen basically is going to come up like this. Up top, you're going to see your lane keeping aid. You're going to see park assist, cross traffic alert. Swipe up, right up under the dot. This does come off. This is a new vehicle with seven miles. So if you're wondering what the dot is, that does come off. That's just a screen covering to the vehicle is so to its first owner. So we're gonna get out here. Connected safety is what you're looking for. As you can see, you have some here that are lit in green. Connected safety isn't. You wanna connect that into green. And it's gone to the owner's manual. So this is very sensitive with my hand floating across. Connected safety, tap. Showing in green, once it's showing in green, simply means that it's enabled. Once you have it enabled, you're ready to drive, you're ready to communicate with other vehicles. Now, one of the things and one of the reasons why it will send communication to another vehicle, right down below here, you have your hazardous lighting. With your hazard lights, if I turn them on, you can see from the center screen here, right at the very top, the green blinking lights. Connected safety is going to send a message to other Volvos in the general area to let them know that you do have your hazard lights on. Something has caused you to have your hazard lights on. And as those vehicles get close to you, you're gonna see the emergency light, which same symbol here, that's gonna show up on your dash. And the closer you get to that vehicle with the hazard lights on, the closer that symbol, the same symbol blinking in red, there again will show up behind your dash. The closer you get to that vehicle, it actually gets bigger and bigger as you start to close in on that vehicle from a distance standpoint that has their hazardous lights engaged. Now, the second one is going to be, and we're going to take off, we're going to hit the roads here. Now, this is the 530 hour where people are you know, on the way home or whatsoever. The good thing about the elements today is we're probably on the brink of snow. If it starts to rain the night, where it would be snowing because the temperature has been hovering right at about that 38 to 44 um, degrees. We're going to take off. This is perfect for it because if we did have snow or wheel slippage, it will send a message as well. So we'll hit the road. Probably won't have any hazards today, but I'll talk a little bit more about it. So hazard lights are off. You don't have to worry about communicating that message. Roads aren't quite hazardous enough to send a message for the vehicle to warrant sending a message to another Volvo in your general area. But of course, if we did detect wheel slippage, uh, rain, sleet, snow, which causes your wheels to slip, of course, you will get a message here explaining there are hazards or watch out because slippery roads. And then, of course, the vehicle will send a message to other Volvos in the area. Now, this is only a 2021 option. Uh, that Volvo started doing with the 2021 model year. So if you have a 2020 or older, 
you don't have to worry. You won't receive any messages, nor will your vehicle send out any messages. But if it's a 2021, as long as you have it enabled, your vehicle will send messages to other vehicles and your vehicle will also receive messages from other vehicles as well. So if I turn left here, the two situations, and I can only think that if you had to swerve to keep from hitting a deer and you kept swerving to where you basically lost control, I would think that it would send a message there as well but I am very uncertain of that. Volvo simply says, if you have wheel slippage or if you have on your hazardous lights, your connected safety will communicate with other vehicles. So it's just a feature out there that Volvo has to keep you and the people around you safe. This is probably one of the shorter videos that I've ever done, but hopefully this helps you. It's definitely gonna help as Volvo would like for it to, as far as keeping you and every Volvo owner around you safe. So stay safe, your Volvo will keep you safe, and stay connected.